Hello friends, greetings, welcome to how to VLAN channel, this is DB VLAN stream. Today in this video, we are going to see the various settings that you need to apply for the proper functioning of PG Badger tool. And PG Badger tool in short is like an AWA report for Oracle, which is nothing but, it doesn't collect any metrics, but it does display the metrics that were collected and stored in uh, the PG PostgreSQL log files. Let's get started. As usual, um, these are the various settings that you need to store. These are our instructions. So we make changes to the postgresql.con for postgresql.auto.con through p auto system set commands, and you need to enable these settings. And uh, and then the, in the next video, I'll show you how to generate a stress test or benchmark test and utilize PG Batcher to see the reports. <coughs> so you see here. Um, this is a very important setting log min duration statement this will start um, this will start putting the statements the which the statement which are running in the database running for more than zero millisecond this is millisecond into the postgresql log file so you need to be very cautious when on a heavy heavily loaded machine don't put this to zero give some meaningful number and the next one is this log prefix log line prefix which will tell you what time the log got generated so if you want the database name this is the way percentage d percentage use the user uh, and then uh, AAC application name for instance pg dump and client is the machine uh, ip address or the host name from where this command is running the other options are to enable our log checkpoint to count to know information about when all the checkpoint is happening and to know information about the number of connection disconnections lock weights is very important for performance issues if you have any lockers and blockers and temp files again to see if you have any issues with the uh, sorting in in memory so in your sorting is not happening in memory and it's getting written to temp files this will help you auto vacuum main duration zero and log error verbosity so all this is are needed to get more additional details about your query performance and this is very much a mandatory setting because this tool will not work in any other language it will work only in english so by default this is the setting i guess in case if you have your postgresql running in any other language better to enable this all right this is an linux it, it i think it is derived from the linux uh, settings uh. and one other recommendation is don't set uh, these two settings together so log means duration statement log duration and similarly log statement log statement will override all this information it's going to do duplication of the statement and uh, our uh, statement and the duration will be printed into different line and uh, it will mess up your uh, pg badger tool so let's get started all right so i have my postgresql database running here this is the screen uh, we will make all the changes not this this one so change the color of the screen to one that we will be able to follow all right so i have my postgres already running here you can see it's version 14 so my binary is 15 though but it is connecting to 14.7 let's uh, get to the settings so show config file so this is where my config file is located all right so we will start from here so i'm connecting to the postgres so i'm connecting to 14.7 and version is 15.2 my config file is located in pg data 14 data page postgres .conf. but we're not going to make changes to this file isn't it we need to make changes to the postgres sql auto.conf because they are the different ones i mean the non-default ones so that you know next time when you know, want to check which all parameters i set uh, which are different from the default one then this file is good enough for you if you set something to the def the original file then you will not be able to identify which file which is default and which is non-default so so before we set all these parameters let us assess what is already there so you can see this is what my current setting is we saw what was this for this is language and uh, maybe we'll start from here right log min duration statement equal to zero log min duration set to minus one this means that this is disabled 
and log checkpoints log check and then we need to know whether we having std error or not for the um, log destination log destination is std error so this parameter supplies fine Th this particular parameter supplies fine log line prefix log line prefix uh, I, yeah, log line prefix is percentage m percentage p only but we are going to change it to percentage t and percentage p with these options and log checkpoints is off log connections is off and log disconnections is off and uh, log log weights is set to off and then log temp files log temp files is minus one and then uh, which means it's disabled again log auto vacuum in duration is set to minus one again it's disabled log error verbosity default i don't think you need to change it it's already default and then the language lc language is already english us okay so we're all set let's go ahead and change them as we need all right this is changed this is changed and this is changed i'll pass it here i'll set everything and then i'll resume from there okay i have set all these parameters now let us redo the assessment of what the values currently are let's randomly check few so this has not changed and this has not changed this is our critical parameter log min duration statement so let's try reloading the configuration file and see which all parameters are coming into effect so now we have few parameters changed let's see which all change long min duration statement zero std error log line prefix for proper so it's coming proper log checkpoints on log connections off so this doesn't turn on so you need a pg bounce I mean, you need to bounce the Postgres database. Log connections off, uh, log disconnections off. Uh, these are uh, not reflecting. Log lock weights on, log temp files zero, and then log auto vacuum in duration zero, and log log verbosity default. Okay, anyway, we just made some changes, right? So, whether they are working fine let's see okay i'm just going to connect to the postgres sql log file all right now i can see a difference in the way the postgres is logging the information you can see here I'll just show you before and after. So the timestamp is very enlarged. I really do not have this before. It's printing so much of information. Oh my God. Okay, you can see here, this is when I started my DB. See, this is not all the information I get. But now, You can see I'm getting the DB name and the user and the app and the client and the command I ran. So every single command is getting uh, tracked. This is a different statistics that I'm printing here. It's for uh, temp usage and so on query statistics. So hmm, it's a good thing that it already started picking it up. Log min duration set to zero, right? So even this query is getting tracked now. And I'll show you an example. So, so select pg underscore sleep. Let's see, it will sleep for one second. So it finished. Let's see if this message is printed here. All right, yeah, it printed. It printed the information. Fine, so this means this is working. The settings that we made is working. Now we need to restart the Postgres database. And then we'll check again these two settings and where do they stand and then uh, we'll again verify one more time, okay? Hold on for a second. I wanna stop and 
going to stop and start my PostgreSQL. Server is stopped and I'm going to start it again. It started fine. Now let us assess the same set of parameters and how do they look. Let's go back. Log min duration 0. Yes, duration statement 0. And HTD error. And then log checkpoints on. Log connections on. Log disconnections on. Log log weights on. Log temp files 0. And log auto vacuum in duration 0. Log error verposity default. English. So this is what we had now. So this is very good. We are in the target values now. Achieved. So now let's quickly assess the Postgres log file one more time. You can see if user connection and disconnections are getting reported. You can see here there was an authorization connection received, a connection authorized. So these messages are now getting printed. All right, fine. Let's uh, run the PG batcher next time and see how it looks. The first VWORK PG batcher in the next video. Thank you.